Hi, how are you doing? How are you doing, sexy family? Um, that's two words I didn't say for a long time. First of all, let me start by apologizing and saying sorry for not being able to post anything anywhere and not giving any feedback on the channels or on the or on our social media. It's not that I had tried. It's not on purpose. I was just not able to do it. I was in a very, very bad place somewhere in my mind and my brain didn't follow up with what I want to do and with my actions. I was depressed, I was bad, I was not feeling okay. And um, I tried to make this video like, I don't know, dozens of times. I was never able to do it or sometimes not even start. I want to say that um, for all of you that followed me and Pedro on our YouTube channel, uh, all of you that followed since the beginning or the other ones that joined in the middle, um, we were really deeply in love and he was my big love, he was my, my only boyfriend, he, he was everything to me. Everything was very real, every single video we post was real. Everything was very intense. Um, you, you also know that I was, I was living in Africa when um, when I met Pedro, I was doing a journey for two years and a half in Africa, each hiking and walking around, and I already had settled up in Mozambique in a beautiful beach. I had my little house, my little business. I met him online and I flew. I left everything behind and I flew because I believed in it. And, and I just caught a plane and I met him in one day and we started to live together since that day. And it was 24-7. For me, there is like only one true happiness in life, the biggest one, and it's to love and to be loved back. It's an amazing feeling. And I'm only 28, I, I'm, I'm still a kid, but um, I gave my heart to Pedro, and that is one of the best things I've done until today. Like he did the same back, and I have amazing respect for him for that. And. Uh, we were not only boyfriends, we were best friends. We were everything together. It was like a combo. The love I felt for Pedro was like a journey that starts at forever and ends at never. I saved my memories, I saved my experiences. I, I wrote my story and I'm still writing it. I'm going up in my life. I will never erase any memory. It's, uh, I'm not like that. Now, I think I got older and, and, and more mature, maybe. now. I kind of think that nothing lasts forever and I think that that is the easiest lesson you learn the hardest way but I still do believe in love I still do believe in love I, I, I only think that it's important for us to understand it better and to learn how to manage it and to understand that things need sometimes need to be calculated or, or, or taught about um, I promised you I was going to record, uh, to upload the video on 28th of March, Wednesday, and now it's 28th of March, Wednesday morning. I'm going to upload this like afternoon, I don't know. And by now, I guess that you know that me and Pedro broke up, right? Uh, so it's just something, yeah, it comes out. We broke up. We are no longer together. Our relationship is over. The, um, it, it ended on, on March 2017. And I uploaded a picture on April 2017 on our Instagram saying that, look, uh, things are up, 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 and uh, I'm going to be back to you soon with a video on YouTube. And that soon was not that soon. It took like 11 months to make this video. It, it, it took that long. The first two months were super hard. I, I like, I hibernated. I slept every day. I closed the windows. I ordered food online. Uh, it was it was difficult. I already cried what I had to cry and I already felt what I had to feel um, But maybe one of the reasons that it took me so long to upload it's because of you guys You made it a little bit harder I'm not I'm not saying it's your fault. It's 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 my fault You do write a lot of comments right on our Facebook Twitter Instagram you send snapchat uh, everything and a lot of comments on YouTube I tend to read them all, and most of all, you send long emails sometimes. I do read them all since the first day. I just reply to like 5% because they are a lot. And um, most of all, because of the big videos we have with 2 million views and a million views, and it, that a lot of people find our email and just send us an email. And in those emails, you explain that 
now you believe in love because of me and Pedro. Now you believe that you can be happy as well. That, uh, and then you tell me that you are in the closet and you cannot come out because of your family or of your country, of, because you're afraid. And, um, and it's really difficult to read all those emails and then tell you that that love is over. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass, you don't imagine. And most of all, because some of you are 15, 17, we also get a lot of beautiful messages from people with 50 and 60. It's really complicated to say something like this. Look, it's over. I know you believed in love because of me, but my love is over. I know you believed you could be happy as well, but it's over. I, I, I don't have a way to say that. I'm saying it now, somehow. If you are going to um, a breakup or, or anything that is bad, if you are going to a moment like that, my biggest advice I can tell you, and and I'm telling you, it's not wrong. It's 100% sure that it's the best advice you can listen if you are going through a bad moment, is do not isolate yourself. Do not do it. Do not isolate yourself. Get surrounded by your friends and your family, most of all. Those are the ones that you should be surrounded. And don't do the mistake, the first mistake I did, that is being two months without doing anything. Make your mind busy, make your brain occupied. Do what you like to do um, somehow. Try to do that. It's, that's the first advice I want to give you. I will give you more in another video because um, I created this YouTube channel because I love cameras, I love video, I love photography, I love social platforms, I love the online world and interaction we can have from one country to 190 countries with one click. I love food. Uh, as you know, uh, me and Pedro had a cooking show, Sexy Funny Kitchen. So uh, after those two months, I also decided not to stop. Most of you know that I like to write a lot. So one day I took a big cold shower, I, I had a big cup of coffee, I grabbed my papers and a pen, and I started to write what can I do that I love to start my life again. I went to Lisbon and um, I rented a very small studio and, uh, and I started by myself doing uh, food videos. I love to make food and I love to make videos. And I started, I created a company that is called The Tasty Studio. And now I have a team of 11 people, photographers, food videographers, chefs, that are my friends. And now we are in a huge studio and we create digital food media content. Like uh, we make recipes, photos, videos for uh, food brands, beverage brands, food bloggers, recipe websites. That's what I do for the past seven months. That's what I've been doing. And I've been very busy uh, doing it and I'm loving it and I'm occupied. And, um, and that's the best advice I can tell you. It's not give up. I will leave the links of my studio down in the description so you guys can have a look and you can laugh. It's a bit of a crazy company, but um, it's, it's my baby now. I will not stop doing YouTube. I will, I think I will start daily vlogging. Maybe tomorrow I upload another video and then another one. I want to keep doing it. I, I do love it. I always loved it. And, um, and I have a lot of things I, I want to share with you. Some things that I've learned and I have big secrets that I never told. Some are nasty, some are crazy, some are fun. Some is from a past life I kind of had when I was 17, 18, 19, 20. I want to share all of that. I want to show you what I do. I want to show you what I created and um, I want to see if I talk with Pedro. The, the, the first and the last time I talked with Pedro was on Christmas Day. It was a bad idea. Uh, but I want to talk with him asking if he wants to post a video as well. But I will keep on doing this. I will not stop. And I hope I can keep getting the support I had from you and I hope I can keep seeing you and talking to you. I already met a lot of you in real life. I, I wish to meet more. And now I'm single. Single Lorenzo, uh, so send me those DMs. <coughs> I'm joking, I'm not into that now. But um, that's it, I see you maybe tomorrow here on YouTube or on social and um, thanks for understanding. Don't be mean in the comments, be positive and uh, I'll be replying to you down below. And the best thing I can say before I end this video is what I always say it with Pedro, which is, uh, you know, never forget to smile. It's, it, it's still, it's my motto. I see you soon. I love you. And something I forgot, I want to show you my new glasses. This is how I look every day.
I'm still blind. Give me your opinion. <laughs>